I hate chocolate said pretty much no one ever. Today I'm gonna to be showing you my secrets for making the best brownies ever, so stick around. Welcome back to No Recipes. I'm Mark Matsumoto and I'm here to show you how to elevate your everyday meals so smack that subscribe button so you don't miss out. Today we're gonna to be making some adult brownies that are so rich and fudgy. They're like a main line of pure uncut Colombian cacao straight to the amygdala. The best part about these brownies is that they come together in almost no time at all, which is perfect for a chocolate junkie like me. All right, let's get started. Our ingredients include dried cherries, a cherry liqueur such as cherry herring, some water, all-purpose flour, Dutch processed cocoa powder, baking powder, and salt. We're also going to be using cultured unsalted butter, dark chocolate, sugar, eggs, and vanilla. Let's start off by lining an 8x8 inch cake pan with parchment paper. I like to flip the pan over and fold the paper to fit the bottom of the pan. Then you can use scissors to cut slits into the corners so they fold over nicely. Also, be sure to preheat your oven to 325 degrees Fahrenheit or 160 degrees Celsius. Now we're going to rehydrate the cherries by adding the liqueur, water, and dried cherries to a pot and bringing the mixture to a boil. Be sure to keep the cherries submerged in the liquid. When it no longer smells like alcohol, turn off the heat and let the cherries cool in the liquid while you prepare the other ingredients. Add the flour to a mesh strainer over a bowl as well as the cocoa powder, baking soda, and salt and sift the mixture together. When you're done sifting, make sure you mix all the dry ingredients together so it's uniform in color. In a separate bowl, add the butter and chocolate and microwave at 300 watts for about a minute and a half. You want the butter to be fully melted, but the chocolate doesn't have to be completely melted. And whatever you do, don't let the mixture boil. Now we just want to whisk this together until it's nice and smooth. Next, we're going to add the eggs and whisk this together until it forms a smooth emulsion. Then we're going to add the sugar and vanilla and continue whisking until you get this delicious chocolatey goo. These wet ingredients get dumped into the dry ingredients. And we're also going to add the cherries and any remaining liquid in the pot. Now you just want to fold this together until the mixture is well combined and free of any dry spots. This looks good enough to eat with a spoon, but I'm going to be an adult today and pour the batter into the prepared pan. Now I'm just going to spread this chocolatey goodness into the corners of the pan and our brownies are good to go into the oven. These are going to bake for about 20 to 25 minutes. The shorter you bake them, the fudgier they'll be. So you can adjust the cooking time to suit your tastes. When they're done, remove them from the oven and place them on a wire rack. You want to remove the brownies from the pan as soon as you can to prevent carryover cooking from overcooking them. Now we just need to let the brownies cool completely before slicing them up and devouring them. The rich chocolate is balanced out by a hint of fruity tang from the cherries, which keeps these brownies from becoming too sweet and cloying. As you might have guessed, the flavor of these brownies is determined by the quality of the chocolate, cocoa powder, and butter that you use, so be sure to use the best stuff that you can afford. As for the texture, you have a lot of leeway to make them as fudgy or cakey as you like. The balance is determined by how long you bake them for, so you may need to experiment a bit to come up with the perfect time for your oven. If you love chocolate, give this a thumbs up and spread the love by sharing this video with all the chocolate heads you know. Thanks so much for watching and if you haven't already, be sure to smash that subscribe button and ring that bell so you don't miss my next delicious episode. Also, you can check out some of my other delicious dessert recipes by clicking the link above. I'm gonna go curl up in my special place and get my chocolate fix along with a big old glass of milk. 
but I'll catch you in the next one. Check us out on Instagram at No Recipes. I'm not really a tattoo guy, but if I were to ever get one, I'd get like a full sleeve that just says, chocolate is life. What kind of candy is always late? Chocolate. Chocolate. Get it? All right. Maybe I should give up on the whole comedy thing, but let's make some brownies. Oh, sh. Ho pow!